Hi again everyone. In this video we're going to solve a simple problem that illustrates the idea of continuity of a function at a point. And in particular we're asked to determine the value of c, where c is a number, that ensures this function is continuous at x equals 2. Now you can see that the function is defined in kind of a split manner here. For the point x equals 2, f of x is just c, whatever c is, and for the points not equal to 2 and not equal to 1, f of x is just this rational function. So how do we do it? Well before we get to that, why is continuity important and why is it interesting? Well, one of the reasons is that continuous functions behave in a predictable manner. So they're useful and we can do lots of things with them. Now, to solve this problem, firstly notice that f of 2 is just c. And if we remind ourselves of the limit condition for continuity of a function at a point, Well, we'll come up with the following. For f to be continuous at, say, the point x equals 2, we must have the following holding. The value of the function at x equals 2 must equal the limit of the function as x approaches 2. So that's very important. So, what I'm going to do is consider this limit here and try to take the limit of f of x as x approaches 2. And whatever, uh, and if I get a finite number, then I'm actually going to define c, or f of 2, to be equal to that limit so that this star equation balances. So what I'm going to do is Consider the case when x is not equal to 2 and when x is not equal to 1. So I can work with this rational function up here. So what I'm going to do is factorise the bottom and see if I can get some simplification. Okay, so if I factorise the denominator, I'll get the following. Okay, so I can then cancel off because x is not equal to 2 here, and I'll get the following. Now, to give some geometric insight into the problem, I'm actually just going to sketch this curve for x not equal to 2. So this is going to have a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. And the graph is going to look something like this. Now, what we are trying to do here is to plug this little hole by giving C some value such that it will make the whole graph continuous. Okay, it's already continuous here and here, well, here and here, I guess, but at x equals 2, we need to define it so we can plug this hole and make the whole um, part of uh, this curve continuous. So how do we do it? Well, you may be able to just look here and see um, what the value should be, because remember, this is just 1 on x minus 1, but let's actually use this limit condition. Okay, so from our simplified 
considerations, we know that, well, when we take the limit of a function as x approaches 2, x is not equal to 2. So I can actually use this representation to take our limit. Now I can take the limit of the top and the bottom just via simple uh, limit laws. Actually, we don't need that. So 1 on 2 minus 1. So I get 1 here. Now, in order for star to hold, I would just define f of 2 to be this value here, 1. That will guarantee me that star holds and X, uh, f will be continuous at x equals 2. So let's write that down. So we're going to define f of 2 to be 1. And we know that, well, f of 2 is just c, so c will equal 1. So finally, let's make a conclusion. We let c to be 1 to ensure the continuity of f at the point x equals 2. So we've solved the problem. So now I'm going to leave you with another question. Let's say I wanted to define f of 1. My question is, can we follow the same steps and just define f of 1 in a, in a similar manner by taking the same kinds of steps? And if not, why not?